What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode. All right, so today <laughs> we get to deal with the boat and I'm super happy because you know what that means? The good weather is finally here. Actually, <laughs> really, really gorgeous. <laughs> All right, so the big thing that we're going to be doing in this video is actually swapping out this axle. Uh, so what ended up happening last fall or on our last trip, uh, on our way home, we actually um, lost our bearing. And then the spindle got chewed up really badly, which dictates means that we're going to need a new spindle. Uh, this type of axle can't get just the spindle, you have to get the whole new thing. Let me show you. All right, so as you can see, this is the axle that goes right underneath to the other side. At the ends where the bearings usually sit, where the hub is, uh, this it's called a spindle. Uh, so you can see a nice hard corner right there. That's where the bearings would be butt up against. But if you look on the bottom side, all that is chewed, scored, and just gouged. So today we are going to, we're going to replace this axle. So I haven't purchased an axle yet. I'm still learning about on how to figure out axles. <laughs> so uh, what I'm going to end up doing is uh, we're just going to take this off as we go. So there should be four U-bolts, two on this side and then two on the other side. And that's pretty much it. And I'm going to have to take the tire off on the other side over there. All right, so I jacked up one side, as you can see. The other side, I'm gonna have to jack up and put it on stands. So let's get to work. I don't know if it's going to be worth, but I'm going to do it anyways. So this piece right here is actually welded to the axle. This is a leaf spring. So I am just going to draw a line just as a reference point of where the next axle needs to be. Uh, only for the fact that this will help with the lining. Uh, this is a good example of what happened. See, gouged right here, scored all along there, and then this edge has been flattened down. So uh, yeah, this thing is garbage. And then what I'm also gonna need is I'm gonna need U-bolts for to put this back on. All right, let's go over to the store and see what we can find. Before ordering or buying an axle, there are a couple of things that we need to know weight rating, and axle length. Our axle is about 2,500 pounds. Now, for measuring, there are three different ways of measuring. Here's an example that I found online for an order form. We'll start with the top left. Number four, axle capacity. This person checked off 3,500 pounds. The tube diameter is two inches and three eighths. Number five would be the spring type. We have a spring leaf and then the spring mount. You're going to see it's going to, there's two options, underlug and overlug. Ours is an underlug. Now the next option is going to be axle measurements, number eight. A, which is hub face to hub face. In this case, ours is actually the same. It's a 72 inch hub face to hub face. The next one is actually pretty important, which is C, from spring center to spring center. Uh, this one has a weird measurement of 57 and a half. Ours is actually 58 inches. All right, let's get some measurements down.
All right, so there's a couple of things I just want to touch on with this is that there are two ways of mounting this axle. So it's either above the leaf spring, which is how I did it, or below the leaf spring. We'll see how this goes. I don't know. I think the trailer is sitting a little too low. Um, so we ended up upgrading the axle. So the old axles was like a 2,500 pound axle. This axle that we just put in there is a 3,500 pound axle. So the diameter of the, of the axle itself is bigger. And then it, there's like an inch space of where that bar is. So I ended up lowering the trailer like an inch or two inches. And uh, it, it looks all right, but it's, it looks a little low. Um, I'm gonna run it the way it is and see how things go. If it's not as what I think it is or how it, I, th I think it should be, uh, then I will take everything off. I'll let you guys know. I'll take everything off and I'll mount it underneath the leaf spring. And that's gonna lift it like almost like three, three and a half inches. Um, yeah, look at that. I have a four inch lift truck and then I'll have a three and a half inch lift trailer. <laughs> That's so funny. Lifted life. <laughs> Anyways, that is it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead. Why don't you hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell. That way you are notified every time there is a video. Until the next time, stay safe. And who knows, maybe we'll see you out there.